Good afternoon, my fellow members of SHIP. My name is Rigoberto Avila, and I am here to tell you why I am qualified for the position of Executive Vice President and why I should have your vote. First off, I would like to kind of say uh, thank you guys all for helping out for Spring Fling. That thing was awesome, so thank you. A round of applause to you guys. All right. So I started off SHIP uh, probably a little over a year ago, two years ago almost now. I don't know, it's all just kind of been a blur these past years. But SHIP has shown me what what value that we, we could really bring to our community and how we could uh, continue empowering it. So I think SHIP is a great organization and we still have plenty of potential to grow. That being said, I would like, I think that I am qualified for your vote, first of all, because I am accountable. As I have shown as my current position as treasurer um, and as head of the fundraising committee, when we have events going on and I get assigned with something to do or if I assign someone to do that, I follow up on that, but I also complete the tasks that I have to the best of my ability. Secondly, I work really well on the team because uh, most importantly and above everything, ship UA, we're a team. So that's something that we have to keep in mind. Well, anyways, on a team, I can communicate, but I could also listen. Yes, one person with enough motivation can accomplish anything. And I urge you all to strive for the great, to make the most impact that you can. But when you have the ability to motivate enough people, you can accomplish something that is much greater than just you, you, or anybody else in this room. As a collective whole, we can accomplish so much, so much more. The vice president, the, with the vice president uh, position, if elected, I want to strive more towards that unification, more towards that ultimate collective goal, and more towards bringing us as one so we can again continue pushing forward with all the rest of the events that we have and even bringing new events. Being said, the vice president position does entail that I shall assist the president in his or her duties, that I shall assume the responsibilities of the president in his or her abs or absence, and that I shall facilitate uh, conference registration and travel. And finally, invite companies to general body meetings and act as the liaison for University of Arizona affiliated programs. But I'm going to take that position beyond what it says on the bylaws, because the bylaws are just bylaws, they're guidelines, most, most of anything. And I think one of the biggest issues is that we kind of take that all too hard. We get too attached to what our position actually entails. I've seen that on my time on the board and I've seen it happen that we just get too attached with, uh, with our position but at the end of the day uh, we have to work as a team. As an e-board member we are all expected to do more. Most importantly we need to set an example for our members and for the rest of the com our, our community. As shown this past weekend during Spring Fling I showed that I was able to be the event coordinator but that I was also able to do each and every one of uh, each and every positions from grill from being on the grill to serving the salsa. And I think that really shows a lot because ultimately, if one person is incapable of doing their job or if they need help, you have to be hopping around. And I think that is one thing that I can carry to the board as uh, executive vice president. Not only will I be focusing on my position, but I will also be focusing on everybody else's position. And I won't work as just like the vice president. I will work as the president if it needs to be, the AIUILF. Uh, we will bring everything together because at the end of the day, we are a team. At the end of the day, we are the ship familia. We empower ourselves, each other, and the community. If I am elected your vice president, I will work diligently to push forward these values and take ship along a whole new course. Uh, thank you for your time, and I hope that I may have your vote for executive vice president. So first it begins on at getting the members to attend the meeting in the first place. So to do that, I plan on having more events out in the mall, as well as more events out in the old engineering courtyard. Because right now we're here, we're up in our building, we're up, up, up kind of isolated. But we're in old engineering, people are always coming in, in and out from there. So I plan on having more meetings down there. In addition to that, I plan on hosting more events out on the UI mall, maybe even have a movie night somehow, like once the weather starts getting better. 
uh, maybe even have like some like uh, soccer games going on or something like that. Just get the people out there more often. Now to keep them in here, first of all, I plan on get on making sure that the e board, wh whoever I am if elected with, uh, that they make sure that they at least contact one new person or talk to one new person every meeting. But other than that, I hope to bring back uh, some sort of mentorship program where I could assign some of the senior members uh, to some of the younger members. Because if you have that one-on-one -on -one connection, you're more likely to return. And if you guys aren't coming for some reason, uh, that that individual could, could potentially contact them and be like, hey, what's going on? Like, uh, where are you missing? Or what's going on with the, with the meetings, for example? That being said, I also uh, want to use uh, well, the best of technology that it has to offer, so surveys, for example, to make sure that we plan the that we plan the meeting times uh, at at the time that works the best for the members. Because ultimately, yes, you need the 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 e board to be here, and that's usually what we plan it around. But we don't need the entire e board to be here. I think the members of what matters most.